Oh my gosh, Chuck, you're quick. I like how you don't reply to any of the text messages, but you show up when needed to. That's what makes you a winner. I can't even hear you. Are you? Is your volume on? Did yeah, you I'm laugh? Can you oh, hear okay, me? Yeah, I can hear you. Now. Yeah, well, well, that's not on purpose. I just, uh, I, I'm, I'm one of those. I don't carry my phone like, like on me a lot. Like, I'll, I'll like when I get home, I'll sit it down or put it upstairs, and I forget I even have it. And you have to have your. It's you're so un-American. You have to have your phone on you 24 hours a day, and I know. Respond, right? to every, respond to every one of my messages, or I'll be mad. You. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time. So, so here. I'm actually more likely to get. I know this is weird. Your an email. Oh. Okay. Because well, I, because I'm at because I'm at my computer a lot, but yeah, I just don't always have my phone around me. Oh, that's fine. I could easily do that. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it's just that so, all of a sudden I oh, got. So uh, look what we're doing here. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I got to take the. Uh, you can't. Can you see it? Oh, dude! Nice. Oh, no, no. Okay, let me tell you a little story here. All right. So, so I found a nice little cut in. So it's gonna be fun. All right. So, but the other thing too is also. Um, so I'm doing a uh, Iron Falcon campaign with the kids at school. And I was going to use this to do the campaign, but I decided that I'd rather do it with you guys because it's like gonna it's really cool. So I I'm gonna do uh keep on the borderland with them. So that'll be nice. Already that's already cut and ready to go, so I'm not too worried about that whole thing. So we're going that direction. Nice shirt, Mick. Holy crap. What's yeah, going that, on with that? Yeah. What's that, that say? I can't see the back. It says Kinley zero zero zero. What what is this? A softball team? Yeah. So you stole her shirt? I remember her being smaller than that. <laughs> well, you know, you just gotta stretch it out. Okay, well that's how it works. <laughs> hey gentlemen, <laughs> I sent a text message. There's a person who who has watched your shenanigans, and I, I think the guy needs to have better taste, but um <laughs> just his name's 1942 Manford. Is it is it like Manford Man's Earth Band? I have no idea. If it is, it makes him ultra ultra cool. He he. I don't know if he saw the testimonies. I'd love to join a session. I'm an old schooler. I played from 1978 to 1986. You guys play just like we used to. And my thought was badly. So either way, it doesn't really matter to me. But uh, <laughs> so he says, just what like he used to. I was thinking, well, you made a mess of that. I bet. I don't know. No. But the thing about it was like that's up for uh, discussion. We could discuss at the end of the session, of course, behind closed doors. So that way, you guys don't get flamed on social media and get canceled. I know Mick's really worried about being canceled. No. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah too, Mick. Yeah, yeah. I'm really worried about yeah. that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god. Top ten things to keep me up at night. I know, isn't it? I could tell. I could tell you had that look like this is bothering you right now. I even use that word in your. I, it triggered you. I apologize for using the trigger word on you, Mick. Hey, hey, it works for me. You know, whether there's three of us or four of us, we all die in the second room anyway. What's well, funny was this is how we found Chuck, right? Yeah, he, exactly. He out for an even a dirt mound, and my god. God, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, yeah, sometimes yeah. there's a chemistry in a group and it works. So you just kind of like, hey, this guy gets it. So we kind of have like this funny thing. All right. So I, I was telling Chuck before you guys started, uh, we're going to go into this thing, which is perfect so for what we're doing. Is that is but, it? Is that just one full book, John? It's a book, it but like, it, it's got six adventures that are linked together. But I found where I can seam it cool. in, just letting you know. Because cool. right now I'm off the grid. I got to oh. make this up by myself. And I'm kind of like... I was really bought this to do this in my class, but um, and I teach at a school and we're doing Iron Falcon. They're all like so excited to play it, but I'm going to do something different with them. And so I said, I I'll use it for the professionals. <laughs> you guys are professional Thank players. You. Yeah, Thank what you. the heck? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it takes. I don't know. But um, do this. <laughs> but the cool thing about it, like I said, looking at it, it just seems like something that um, you guys. I think it's a group that's playing is literally eight kids. So my oh, personal, wow. it's too big. It's too big. For, I think the module, the rooms are too small. I don't know. I just, I'd rather do something that's a little more expansive with a whole lot more. Um, how would you say gunplay? I don't know. Keep on the borderlands be perfect for them. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, it you is. and I talked earlier today because it's it's a sandbox and they get to meet. I already have a bunch of characters made for it and they can run around and mess things up. So uh, I think where we left off, gentlemen, was. This scenario, you guys smell a horrendous smell floating 
<laughs> out towards your beautiful nostrils. And who got not who got nauseated, Chuck? And that was it. Or Chuck yes. and Mike. Yeah. Wilford okay. did. So we have a we have a minus right. two, right, John? Yeah, yeah. You guys are both rolling at minus two on your your Thacko. Mix the only this. one that's saved. Mix the only one that's fine. But you, you can generally based on the direction of the stinky air that it's probably in this region down here on this oh, map. Didn't we see it? We, we saw, saw him. It. Yeah, you saw the, you saw part of it. You didn't see the head of it. Mm. No. Yeah. So yeah, you know it's down there. It's heads down below the brush line. It's uh, you can hear it grazing and moaning and belching and releasing large amounts of copious gas. Uh, oh, Schmeppy. Yeah. Can you send me a oh, Schmeppy link? I can send you a Shopify link here. Hold on a second. I can just see. Here you go, guys. Oh, boom. <coughs> yeah, it's on the it's in the chat i guess you guys say cool. all right here you go uh how do you want to approach this uh first quick question how far away am i from it uh from what you see mm, with the thickets and the brush it you now and then see it but then it's like below the brush line because there's like all the scraggly swamp mush and stuff like that. So you can see it. You can see a hump, and then it kind of lowers a little bit. Like it just kind of moves around, just kind of doing its thing. Ah, probably, I don't know, hundred feet or so. I would say, yeah. So let me just yeah. let me just recap the the uh, the two tiny dwarves. I'm going to move to about the two hundred foot range then. So the so the two four and a half feet tall dwarves in plate mill armor were mucking around in the shallow water. Yes, and the and the tall, pretty elf is in the high grounds in the tree, not getting dirty. Why? Yeah, wouldn't that be the smart way? I would think, right? Well, he is a pretty smart elf. All right. Thank you. Okay. A, a long Thank bow. You, you have a long bow? <laughs> Mick, you have a long bow. What do you have? I do, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it goes two hundred ten feet. You could tag it. So. Um, um, uh, Mick, I think you want to go south, not north. We're headed south. Yeah, exactly. I want to go away from them. I want to get about two hours <laughs> away from them. I want to be as far away from them as possible. Oh, oh, I got you. <laughs> Where did he go? Is he off the map? Yeah, right. I'm above uh, Wilford. Where? Well, then Wilford. Well, the, yeah. The, oh, I'm I see. Go I'm going to take it. I went out of the position. deep water where we were like worried about eels and stuff. Well, all this so brush, I back this is going to in. You're going to line a site with all this brush. These are all tree kind of areas sticking up. You'll be able to see them from there. I mean, your shots will be literally at a minus like eight from there. You got to shoot through the thicket to get to them. Now, now, John, now where I'm at, am I like up a little bit or, or not? Well, you got the big tree. He's down here in the recess thing. I mean, a okay. little higher. Was, you have to get around gonna, the other side gonna, of that tree. Was, can I climb the tree? Oh yeah, you climb a tree. Climb its mouth. Yeah, you want to so, climb yeah, up a I'm tree? That. That's fine. Yes, if that's what you want to do with your life. Yeah, sure. I don't care. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I mean, you could climb a tree anytime. <laughs> I don't care. All right. So I don't know where Mechalik. Mechalik. That'd be kind of hard. It's going to get covered, so it's going to increase its armor class if you're shooting through the thicket. You can do it. I'm just saying it's going to be harder to hit. Yeah, things kind of like go. Imagine if it's a a giant buffalo. It's probably up as far as it can in the water and the stuff. So it's just just the back you're seeing is kind of above the water line a little bit. It's got its head down kind of low. Well, so you're saying this thing is only like a couple feet tall? Well, we don't know. It's kind of in the swampy area down there. You don't know how far he's stuck in the mud. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, well, that's yeah. a good thing if he's stuck in the mud. Makes it harder for him to move. Yeah, they're kind of, let's put it this way, like a <clears throat> hippo. A hippo is more of an aquatic mammal than an actual, like, land mammal. They both do the fast, but hippos move pretty quick through water, just warning you. I can show you a YouTube video of that. It looks really cool. Have you seen that video? It comes up behind a boat. Have you guys ever seen that? Well, let me ask you a question, John, okay. theoretically right. speaking. Theoretically I mean, if I was to go over here instead, would that give me a line of sight from 200 feet? Uh, you would actually have a better shot, yes, from that direction. All right. Well, let me work in that direction. I might run into shit along the way, but I'm going to be working <laughs> on that. I, I'm recording this. Whoa. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. 
I, I, oh my silt, God. I silt. Wait. Silt. Can you guys hear this? The bottom of the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I can hear. It. I just. Um, oh, but Mick, are you sure you want to try to cross that river? I, I'm sure I don't want to go near that thing. Okay, but you're gonna might drown in the water. Isn't that deep water there? Yeah, He's gonna strike the eighteen. You probably swim that. You could do it. Yeah, you could do it. Pretty strong, right? I'm pretty buffed. I'm buff. I could ride on your back, saving yeah. some of my energy here. All right. So you two okay. are going to take pop shots at it from the side? and Wait, wait, I'm wait. Oh. I'm just going to try and stay just inside the range wait. of the longbow. Here you go. Ready, guys? Right. Just, to, just, to, just to make you think, this is, this is, this is what you might be up against. Look at this. <laughs> See how well I swim? This is chase. This is chasing a motorboat. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, on awesome. the jet ski. Oh, that poor guy. Was oh, yeah. guy. Okay, I just let you know. We we don't underestimate this thing. Obviously, it's lived That's a long impressive. time. It's out there. It's impressive. The hippos yeah. are quick. Oh no, no. Either they kill more human beings than lions. They do not play. So, yeah, Mechalik easily moved to the other side. Of course, you're in the water. Oh, I should have made you roll. Uh, because, yeah, oh, no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, you're cool. You're cool. He's right. an 18 with 100 strength. But, good. No, but you can just roll a 20-sided dice. Just make sure you get below 18, which means 17 and less. Don't roll an 18, 19, or a 20. Would you roll? No. No, 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 Yes, no, he drowns. No, 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 it's not success. You're supposed to roll under for skill checks. You got to roll under. You're in trouble. Oh, Wait, got, it's 18.9 to 1. So since it's 18. No, no, no. It's like when you, when you roll below your stat, you have to roll below your stat number yeah. for a skill check. Yeah, skill checks are low. Skills are low. So come back to our side. <laughs> y'all, y'all, so, come back y'all. Your side. Hey, Mick, oh, come no. Back you, you had That's an 85 for percent chance success rate. I don't understand how you screwed that up. Oh, my God. Like All right, wait. An actual one on an attack. I know. It's a, it's reverse on a skill check. Oh, my God. This yeah. is too bad. Okay, wait. <laughs> well, let's take a look at what you got. Uh, hmm. Uh, adjudicating this let's say you got out to about yeah let's just grab you get you about here and uh oh oh i know what happened what you got about here uh, you start seeing a couple of your buddy leeches notices you out in the water when you got to about this far just fyi not the dead one that makes no sense let's get him out of there i was like let's, let's get one of the live ones this guy comes. So you, they haven't got to you yet, but they are approaching you. Now, well, these we already hit, right? We've already done damage on these. Uh, I actually have it written down. Yeah, it's written down. I don't know how much on each one. I, I'm not going to tell you. See if you can remember. Oh, okay. I'm going to engage. I'm going to take my chances here. Okay. okay. <laughs> and I know that if they latch on, they're going to be latched on to the death. But they're also in water. So if they wrap and encounter you, remember, they stay, according to the book, it's supposed to stay latched onto you and sucking your blood to you kill it. They don't come off. Remember, I, I, I played it wrong. Yeah. I'm just giving you every warning in the world. But they're almost dead. That's true. But there is two of them. Okay, yeah, what do you want to do? Come back to us. All right, I'm gonna go look, what it. do you want to do? I'm going to hope for the best here. I'm going to go for it. Uh, <laughs> Night for the fences, man. <laughs> okay, all right. So these things swim, swim up on you. They're they're gonna beat you on a swim. Their movement rate's way faster. But uh, so is yeah. he in armor like like? So he's like thirteen. Yeah. Eight damage plus five. Thirteen. Did you roll? I rolled a nineteen to hit, and then eight damage plus that's five. Thirteen. <laughs> oh, that's gonna take um. Which number is that? 
Okay, that's number two would go down. Let's get rid of him. Okay. Okay. Let's. At least I'm not going to be as bad as it probably will be. Really? It's okay. half as bad now. It's still bad. <laughs> and can and can I see these these creatures swimming in the water? Can I? Are they on the surface? Yeah. I mean, they're kind of like right below the. I mean, I don't know how you would get to them. Honestly, uh, no, no. I was wondering if I could hit him with a sling with a rock. Oh, you could try. That's pretty far away, though. It but is. that is pretty far away. Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't think you can get to me in time. What? And I, I didn't think that, 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 back to shore in time. That's what I was like. That's like eighty feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, even if I swim yeah, back so, to shore, we're gonna get to me. Sling's only like forty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Am I like cross? Well, it goes up to 60. <coughs> oh, well. All right, well, let's see if he hits me. Let's see if my, see if more, then. my blood, my blood letting. Uh oh. Okay. Remember, you, you got mad because you found out how many hit dice these things have, which was quite a bit, actually, right? Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll roll. Let's try this out. I have. Uh, you never know. I mean, let's try this. I got my fancy wooden tray out. Let's see what I have. Oh no. 17. That's gonna hit. That might connect. Oh no, that is gonna connect. Because that's for him, that would be ooh, six of dice. But you're strong enough. You just carry him back short. He could hit a zero armor class, so I think he hits you. Okay. Well, that's where you are. Um he's gonna lodge. Oh, you gotta have to fight until he's dead now. He's got four hit points. How much do you? How many hit points do you have? I got twenty-one right now. He did four, so I'm at seventeen. Seventeen, but he's on you now. Go ahead. Um, All right. So now attack back. Come on, baby, daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Keep these. I oh, eighteen, baby. I'm loving this. <laughs> 20, 19, 18. This stuff is awesome. Okay. All right. Fair Keep enough. Coming. Oh well, now 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 it done dropped. I got one on that, but still plus five, six, six. Ah, uh, he looks <clears> like <throat> he's been half hauled on. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. All right, let's do that one d six on me. See how much it hurts again. Uh, six, six. So I'm down to eleven. Oh, he's oh, got you right, right up underneath the. Underneath the plate mail, up in the armpit, he's sucking for all it's worth. Just he, this, one. Yeah, he did, so, what did he do? Damage. Six. Okay, six so I'm down to eleven. Oh, he's it's all blood draw now. Yeah, don't don't hit yourself. Swing to hit. <laughs> your hit. He can't hit. He's latched. He's... Dude, dude, I'm loving this. Fifteen. Okay, well that'd be a hit, right? What would that be total? Yeah, plus three, eighteen. 18 will be a hit on this thing. You're a third level fighter, Six. right? Six plus five, 11. That's down. He's down. Down for the count. So, uh, yeah. He, um, that's another there. one. You see another uh, heel. <laughs> These things just slip, simply <laughs> slip and and just start to, to, to slide off downstream. <laughs> All right. And there's another <laughs> heel coming? No, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the rest of the way across now. All right, cool. Maybe so you do another roll check. Yeah, just make sure you get below oh, eight. Six. Yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, from here you get a clear shot on him. Oh. There he is down here in the bottom. Now keep in mind, I'm going to be shooting at him, but half of my focus is going to be on my surrounding environment. Because I am down to eleven hit points. Okay. I don't want to be snuck it. Gotcha. Wait. Wait. So, why is that so little? He was bigger than that. So I don't know if that means I. How many shots do you get for a bow in a round? No, in this game, it's only one for some reason. Okay. Which I really don't know why. Because if you wanted me to drop from two shots to one, but you're a dwarf, so you get three. <sighs> Because it's overpowered, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> What's overpowered? Two shots from a bow? That's overpowered. Yeah, over and you're not yeah, supposed to be shooting into melee anyway. That's true. What do you what's your what's your point? I'm just kidding you. 
It's one of the There's best no things point. about it. <sighs> You've never seen Legolas. <laughs> yeah, he can surf on a shield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think he gets three shots in the in the swamp. Yeah, well, yeah, if you're Legolas, then okay. Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Okay. Here's my notes. Look at this. I have my notes over here for you right. guys. What page to turn to over on the side? She said, tells me, go to that page for this guy, this page for this guy. So oh, cool. you get to see my. Okay. That gives you enough of a scene of what's going on. I think everybody's okay. in there. Mecca, hey, like, I'm gonna be, I, you know, I, I get brush around me. I, I don't want to be like standing out in the open <clears> and shooting. <throat> I want to kind of be behind brush. So that way he might be like, I have no idea what's hitting me or how it's hitting me. Maybe it's yeah. something in the water that. Gets well, first of all, He's faced up this direction. He's not facing towards you. Oh, so that'll work out right. Right? As I just want to be more than clueless on where this pain is coming from. Okay. So Sorian, uh uh Okay, guys, what do you want to do? You got this catapolis okay. sitting here. Well, yeah, I'm trying to move as far out onto a branch as I can. Tell me if I can do that, John. Can I yeah, do that? sure. Yeah, I mean, what's your dexterity? Uh, a 17. Just throw me, me, 16 or less. That's all you got to oh, do. Oh, jeez, you John, you're killing me. You're no, killing me, John. You can do it. It's easy. Don't act John, like you, know me. You, know, you know me. You know me. You can me. do this. Storm Storm me, me, me and the D20 have a very strained relationship. Here we go. Well, you can do the climb walls. I think 14. your eyes are better. What? Okay, well, I rolled a 14. No, you're fine. Nice. So what's the problem? So you got, you're worried over nothing. I knew it. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, now I'm trying to be as not obvious as possible. I don't know if he has spotted me yet, but anyway. Uh, I right now he didn't spot you. He has not seen Muckaluck, and Wilford has not moved. So everyone's pretty much fine right now. Okay. And this is dry. He's just sitting there eating it. He, he, he doesn't really care about you. You're insignificant. It's not like. Hey, I do have bandages on me. Am I allowed to do binding? Or do you actually have a skill set for that? Uh, we don't bind in this. It's okay. healed. So, unfortunately, no, we don't have that. You can rest. You did resting last time, didn't you guys rest in town? Where'd you rest for several days to heal back up? Was yeah, it in yeah, town? I think, uh, I think a lot of gold. Were... All right. Yeah. We were healthy, but weeks, a lot of money. For you to bind wounds, you'd have to take off all your armor, and that to don. I, armor, I don't have time to for off that. the. Yeah, you got time. Just leave. <laughs> like, got a eel carcass on you. Um, okay, it's, right, just, so, it's your move, guys. This thing's just sitting there eating like a water buffalo. Yeah. It doesn't care. So, well, I think Sorian and Wilford should go for a bit. I've kind of did quite a bit going across that water, fighting some eels and getting into position. So, I don't know what you guys have been doing in the back room, but let's. Take this time to bring uh, everyone us up to speed with how we've all synced to this moment in time. So Wolford can move through this without sinking into water, right? This is like mud. This is this is muddier. Uh, it's all thicket and stuff. It's muddy. Okay. You probably sink up to your calf. You'll probably. What's your strength? Your strength's pretty strong, right? Oh, yeah, I've got an 18 strength. Yeah, so, I mean, you're going to walk through that. You're probably going to roll. Just don't get stuck and have your – the worst that's happened is your metal boot's going to come off. Just make sure you roll – Roll the 17. 17. It was real close. Oh, there you go. You're real close. Your foot almost <laughs> – you almost no, pull no, off no, your, no. your boot, but you're fine. You just, everything, oh, you're all the way up on top of this. No, chomp, 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 chomp. No, I'm sorry. I, I just moved the character. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> all chomp, right. Do a saving. Do a saving. Chomp, chomp. Let's see if you're in prayer. <laughs> he put you on top of it. There you go. No, you touched it. Too bad. Now you're in trouble. Yeah. Well, I'm actually moving towards it. And um, because I figure I'm the bait. Um, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So you're, you're two hit. You guys, if you're not looking at this as a minus four, it's going to be hard. The only one that's. Wait, even, even for me, right? No, I don't have a plus four, right? How long is well, this thing? Well, it looks to be approximately. I know about minus 10 feet. Oh, yeah, I guess it'd be minus eight. It's about 20 feet long, I guess, from the neck to the tail. So, what so, if you just look at the back 10 feet? 
I think you'd be safe that way, right? John, do I do I have a minus four on top of the minus two? Total of minus four. Wow. Oh, that's right. You got the nauseous. No, minus four total is fine. That's all you got. Minus four. What's I mean, you're going to be shooting kind of like until it rears its head, which it will do. Once oh, okay. you shoot it, okay. it's going to look around, guys. And then you're going to be like at Mike. You'll be at a minus six with the nausea. So will Mike. And I, Mechalek, I don't know. If he hags it, the thing will look around. I'm just letting you know what's going to okay. happen. Well, I'm a fire and Either you're averting gaze right. and trying to fight blind, which is fine. You could do that. You guys, are, your stats are high enough. You probably can. It'll take you a long time to get it, but it could also move around. And all of a sudden, this this is your scenario. If it moves really quick, which it may in the swamp if it's wet enough, it can be on you before you know it. These are all possibilities. So it's gonna okay, be a random. It's gonna be a bro. random thing. So there's three of you guys. I have a D three over here, right here, my favorite little dice D three because it's so weird. And I will simply roll this little joker to see which direction does it plan to go. But chances are it's probably not want to go on the dry land because that's not friendly. I mean, it'll be slowest on the dry land, but it might see you because you're up on a tree and say, that's where I'm going. So it's all a 33% chance on who's it going to go towards. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Depends. And the guy oh, who lands the shot is definitely the direction it's going to go. You would think if you hit it, it's going to go towards you. So just letting you know, this is your, this is your stop. Unless you guys all three hit it and then it's all, you know, 33%. So, yeah. Right. It's kind of strange, but. All right. And you would preemptively state. That if it looks in my direction, I'm going to do kind of like a challenge check saying this thing can go 200 feet with its gaze and, and the effect. It's part of the reason why I'm going that far away. Most spells only have a distance to do things. So I'm hoping that I'm out of the range of what damage can be done by the eyes. I don't know if it is the case, but I will be challenging it if it does come into my direction that way. I have a hammer. And I have <laughs> my hammer. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't I if it decides to turn and swim towards you, it will it will close that gap. That's all I'm gonna say. Probably not the first time, but if, when it gets up on top of you, yeah, you'll probably have a problem. So just letting you know. Right now, you're probably fine in your distance. You'll probably get a bonus on your saving throw. Let's say if you're that far away, probably easy like a, a plus 10 to your saving throw. What's your saving throw normally? Where's the dryad? Saving throw versus well, death. Death Was it death ray? I'm sorry. What's it, what's it say? Uh, 12. Death ray. It's a 12. So you just got to roll above a 2. You're fine. So I just got to keep staying 200 feet away from him. Yeah, but you could be running through a sw It's going to probably end up closing that gap. It's going to swim towards you. Just letting you know. Yeah. So you just letting you know. You, you also make kind of like an intelligence check against him for him to figure out what just happened and where it happened since I'm 200 feet away? Uh, I'm just going to throw out preemptive boundary things to see what we're working with. No, no, I understand. It totally makes sense. I think if it's, if it's hit from behind, it can easily turn and make a swim in that direction. Or... If two people hit it at once, then it has to make a judgment call which direction to go to. Depends on how it's hit, too. If it's hit with an arrow versus hit with a hammer, I don't know, hit with a sling, hit with two arrows, or it could just submerge itself and go hide. Who knows what's going to happen? I'll put that as a fourth. I'll run a yeah. run as the uh, as a pyramid dice, a four-sided dice. Let's say if it rolls a four, it just goes under the water and disappears. I mean, that actually would make more sense. If two of you guys hit it, why would it not hide, right? It's a monster that now doesn't know what its enemies are. That would freak it out. This is it's a it's a weird monster. So yeah. And um and Nick, I think your your saving throw is a nine you gotta beat because you're a dwarf. Actually, if you, you both if two guys hit this thing, it's gonna do a morale check. Wait a minute, why, is mine a, why is mine a nine? Because I'm a dwarf. Because because you're a dwarf. And dwarves save their saving throws are four levels higher. So he's oh. already a four. What would he be? Saving throws are four levels higher. Yeah. So yeah. so if, oh. if, so if he's a fighter and he's third level, it would be eleven. But oh, he's okay. he, but he's saving as a seventh level fighter, so it's a nine. So I would be an automatic pass from this distance. From the first, yeah, from that distance, yeah, probably. All right. So let's just kill this thing. 
<laughs> yeah, it's enough of this talking. Kill it. Kill it. Uh, all right. Uh, who wants to go first? Soaring in the tree. Go ahead. So got a beat on it. He's got head down in the swamp. Okay. So I have a minus four to this, right? Essentially, you're 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 shooting. Are you not using your eyes, right? And you're, well, you're not just wait a minute. If his head's why, down wait, the wait, wait, wall, why would I why would I use my eyes? What are you talking about? So you're not gonna look at it to shoot it, are you? Yeah, of course I am. Why would I... Okay, then it's then it's not a minus four. It's just a minus, a minus two. Minus yeah. two. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's let's bring the heat. I'm tired of nonsense. Okay, <laughs> I'm, tired of nonsense. I'm shooting the dang thing. Go ahead. I can't overthink this. Okay. Just kill it. What no, okay. I, I, I rolled a two ultimately, so it's not gonna hit it. Okay, all this talk was worthless anyways. All right. All right, the arrow just goes right off and goes into the swamp, so it doesn't even notice it. Not even close, didn't even nick it. I guess Wilfer, are we going across? Wilfer, what do you want to do? Um, how far away am, am I from this thing now? I am um I am 40 feet, 45 yeah. feet. I can't I can't I can't move that. Far past in the swamp, can yeah. I? And you're gonna make you can make noise going up to it. Uh, yeah. Well, your, your distance. Well, you can hit it. I mean, with the sling. That's what you wanted to do. Why not? It's what I got. I got a sling. So it'd be ten. I mean, you could. In fact, you could get a you get a bonus to your roll. I think with the. Uh, with the distance. Let me read this a little bit. Because I think a, the distance. And it's a giant, uh, so I get plus one to hit. Minus four, because I'm I'm slinging out of smell. Yeah, it's one one D6 to hit, but right? isn't it the I'm looking at the book right now. I'm a little confused because I thought there was a bonus if you're shooting at short length, short range. But it doesn't really say that. Usually in the other one it says that. Does it? And under my breath, is some cursing tree fairies. Why? Could they drop you into this thing? Just because she made them pretty again. I'm out here messing with a sea cow. Well, you know what? It's I don't see where the thing <laughs> with the. Uh, do you guys know where the thing is with the range with the weapons? It's it's it's, it's on the weapons. Um, where? Like, what, what, what are you trying to look up? Because if it's from a short, long, medium, or long distance, you get a bonus, I thought. But I can't find it. For some reason, I'm not seeing it. Oh. Um, Here, I, I can it? find it. Here, I got it. I don't want I can't see it. Okay, John. Yeah. It's at the top of page 16. Yeah, it's so far away. So it's, it's plus two. Plus two on, on the short range. Plus one on medium plus, and no plus bonus. Plus one on, on medium long. and no bonus on long one. Okay, there you yeah. go. All right. So you would get you get a plus two. So it's gonna if you're not looking, are you looking at this thing? Obviously, you probably well, will be. Well, I get a plus now. one because it's a giant. So I hit a plus three and I'm not looking at it. So I have a minus one. My minus okay. minus one and I'm my sling is going to snow, and I roll right. an eight. So that's a seven. Why oh, not? that's not going to hit this thing. Why he unfriended you? You hit a armor class of seven? No, I I rolled a seven. Um, you I a hit... plus three? What armor class do you hit, Mike? Oh, that would be eleven. Okay, I armor think, class eleven. I, I would think it's less than nine. Okay. So we get plus three on giants. We get plus one. one. But he's got short range. He gets a plus two to hit. I thought they had to be humanoid opponents for the plus. No. I'm sure you're right. I'm just trying to get anything I can. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's a good try, Mike. Yeah. Dirty dog, man. My Dirty bad. Dog. Dirty dog, man. Hey, Mike. Well, that means, that, 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 that means I rolled a six. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's even worse. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, Mecca Uh, I rolled a nine. Okay, I don't think that's going to hit it either. What would that be with all your stuff put together? A nine. A total. A total of nine. All right, okay, all right. This thing doesn't notice everything. <laughs> thunk, thunk, thunk. It doesn't Three even round. Next round. Go ahead, Sorian. It just thinks it's fish out there. Right. It doesn't care. Okay, my turn. Time to go home. <laughs> 
Count All your right. arrows, boys, because this may take a while. Okay, hold on a second. Hold oh on my a second. gosh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. A shout out to uh, Wilford. I hit an armor class of two. <laughs> What'd Wilford. you say? I hit an armor class of two. That would hit it. I rolled a 16, minus two, 14, armor class I don't have any oil. of two. I have a tinder box. Damage. Okay. Did I have oil? I did four points no. of damage on D6. Asorian. Ah, what? <laughs> yeah. Sorian. No, you're busy right what? now, but you have like a flask of oil on you. Okay, so I hear him, I take it, I say, go on. <laughs> Are you tossing me the flask of oil? Sure. Well, I wasn't sure. expecting that. No, I thought you throw the oil on him, on the monster. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you were saying you needed it. I wish I was in shouting range of story and too, it's a shame he's too far away. That's what happened. Hey, uh, to the telephone. All, all this yelling. This thing, luck. What? this thing rears its head, especially towards Sorian, because you're the closest to it. Are you and Wilford shouting across the thing? It no, raises its I, I thought, head up. Yeah, I thought we were joking. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. You're yelling for what? Yeah, yeah. No, it is raising its head. <laughs> I'm looking You're at the water. Trouble. I'm looking at the water and I'm sensing the smell. All right. It hears you guys yelling and screaming. And so that's going to do it's a 1d4 roll. Let's see what it does. Four means it submerges. One, Saurian. What? The thing's actually moving towards you. Of course, you just hit it too, right? So this has really got mad. It starts yeah. to clamber up into your direction, towards your direction. Cool. Oh, nice. Cool. Can I get, can I get shot? Hold a second. It's only gonna move. I well, only this is like a to... dinosaur, and it can only... yeah, it's, it's slow, but it's moved towards you. Get a quick question. I only asked Wilford if he had oil. Do I have enough time still left in my turn to shoot? Yeah, you could shoot. Actually, Wilford could shoot. Sorian just shot, but let's see what happens. I'll wait. I'll wait till after Mechalock shoots, and I'll go last. Okay. It's a. Uh, yeah, and one seventeen. Uh, it's an armor class one. That's gonna hit. Wow, there it go. Six. Okay. Yeah, baby. Now it's confused. Well, let's see what it does. And I don't get strength on the the arrows, right? Just no. Any good stuff. <laughs> it's it's because you shot it in its butt cheek it's now kind of turning a little bit and it swings back towards williford nice williford. my turn you, need to, you have to um yeah i um, know i'm just i'm just i'm just going for smell here um i'm going to um with my with my sling because that's, yeah. that's my hand Ooh. Okay, so I have a minus one or minus two. I have a minus two. Actually, yeah, I guess minus two. Yeah, this is right. nauseous, right? But you're shooting blind. Yeah, it's a I minus know, four. Just... That's a minus. But he's got a plus for the sling and short damage, short range. That's true. Yes, right. Sorry. Yeah. So it's just minus two. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so I would have hit armor class seven. Did I hit it? Yes, you do. Oh, nice. 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 And I rolled a six. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I right. hold a second. And I have 17 more stones to go. Damn. All right. Uh, it will definitely encounter you. Uh huh. I have the faith uh -huh. of Mordon. Uh huh. So, it pops an ugly head. Ugly god awful head up at you. All right. Hey, um, hey, quick question. Quick question. Yes. When we first encountered this, we had no idea how tall it was. It was just barely coming out of the water, but we didn't know how tall it was because it could have been sucking in the muck. But if right. it's moving around, I would imagine it's we now know the size of it. What are we looking at height wise? Uh it's huge. It's kind of like a I would say a diplicus. It's going to swat you with its tail. Okay. Uh, just letting you know, this is going to 
it's going to really, really hurt I, if you get hit. You don't miss me. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> What's your armor class? <laughs> armor class two. Uh, it hit you. I... I... You gotta do a save versus death ray. First of all, first of all, it does four hit points of the damage. Do a save right. versus death That's ray. Not bad. I saved. I rolled an eleven. Okay. It knocks you over, but it doesn't knock you out. It's a love tap. Okay. It's got this giant tail, right? That's got the, uh, how would you say, these big knots all over it. See if I get a nicer picture of what this horrible thing would look like. Uh, cool. Yeah, you guys see this thing. This is kind of cool. All right, here we go. Very, very ugly looking monster. And here it is. Oh, here we go. Here you go, boys. It's got like all these, how would you say, bunched up, big knobby looking things at it. And obviously, it's rearing its head. It's very upset now. This god awful, hideous monster. It stretches its neck out and it's going to actually like. Uh, Make an attempt to make a second attack, but you guys, it is your turn. Obviously, Sorian, you're first. Okay. All right, here it goes. Sorian brings the heat, light crossbow. Uh, I think you have a minus two, right? Well, if you're not looking at it, it's minus four. No, I'm looking at it. Well, then you're going to have to suffer <laughs> a gaze. You have to do a saving throw now because it's got its head up out of the water. It's up Doesn't to you. have to look directly at you, though. Okay. No, I, you just have to look at it. <laughs> okay, well, I, 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 I only have, I only have <laughs> armor class of eight. So. Oh, you're going to miss it. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's... so I got to make a save throw versus what? Well, you were looking. Were you looking at the thing? Obviously, you had to look at it. The thing. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. I was. Save versus, save versus death yeah, rate. Okay. So he's looking at the side of his All head, right. though. Okay, John, so, I failed it. Really? Now you're blind. Yes. It's a magic beast. Yes. You're blind for the rest of your life. No, he's stone. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. What? <laughs> it says, oh, never mind. It kills with its gaze, not by you looking at it. You're fine. You're okay. That's it's not because I'm looking from the side. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're still. Oh, yeah, because it's not. It's not looking it's, at me. I yet, just right? said you're still alive. Don't get mad and start throwing things around the room. You're fine. Yeah. Don't touch those symbols behind you. <laughs> okay, it's got a gaze at you. Okay, well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you miss your armor well, class. Let me wait, get man, shot at this. Well, honest to God, but the way it says this is it looks at you and it does to you. It's not you looking at it. Yeah. So well, it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter whether you look at it or not. It's just it gazing okay. at you. So okay, he could have well, been doing this all along. Games wait a minute, what? Wait a minute. Yes. No. It kills with its gaze. It does. It's not you looking at it. It's it looking at you that kills you. That's the way oh, this okay. is written. So, well, so. Was no, it okay. pause on that one. Not no. now. Not yet. Right, pause on that one. Back. Okay. I mean, I'll accept it. it. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. So even if you're not looking at it. If he just looks at you, you die. Well, you have to make a saving throw. No, if he looks at you, you got to make a saving throw. Not if you look at yeah. him. Yeah, just like a beholder, it has one of those death rays on its eye stalks, and it it looks in your direction. You have to make a saving throw or die. That's what a right. That, that's yeah. the spell death ray. That's what it does. I've been reading it. I wrong. love it. To your advantage, I've it. been reading this wrong. Just letting you know. It's all right. We're gonna kill it the second <laughs> round. It's okay. Well, I know what's wrong. Wolf or better do something because it's it's well, raising no, its, it's Mechalux turn and then it's my turn. Yeah, let's see what we can do on this baby. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Eight plus one is nine, which I don't think it's gonna do anything. It's not gonna hit it. No. Nope. No. All right. No. Go ahead. Are you ready, John? So that it 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 hit me with its tail, right? Yes, it did. Yes, sir. All right. 
So can I run up a tail? Can I run up and then use my warhammer and break its back? If you roll, that sounds like fun. You could try rolling here with I. You can roll now. You know that it doesn't matter whether you look at it or not. I yeah, go have fun. I'm gonna try to jump on its back. Well, and that sounds like fun. Warmer. Do it. So, what do I gotta roll to get on its back? <laughs> hey, if if you roll a 19 or a 20, I'll let you sit on the back of a catabolus, and you could write to your grandchildren about your wild ride at Disney World for the rest no, no, of your I, life. I want to run up it, and I want to hit it in the right smear in the back with my massive warhammer. Okay, roll a 19 or 20. You get that. What'd you get? Well, a I rolled a 17. Do I get a plus one? No. Oh, no. Not for this. no, no, wait a minute. I get I get plus because it's melee, I get plus two to hit. So 17 plus two is 19. But no, it was like a 19. You're asking for a oh you can oh I got you. All right, no, you no. can see so you then, I hit it, but you didn't like run up and run right. it like a pony or whatever you were so, so so I, I tried to run up it and I didn't. But you hit it. All right. Go ahead. What'd you do hit damage? It. All right. <laughs> Roll the six. Six plus three is nine. Did I break its back? No. <laughs> yeah, doubtful. Warhammer. Warhammer. Yeah, doubtful. Doubtful six. Would you roll <laughs> nine? I did nine points of bludgeoning damage to somewhere. Well, I was trying to hit its back. If I didn't get up there, maybe it's hindquarters. Maybe it's underbelly. I don't know. He probably had a pimple back that you smashed, and the zit juice just flew all over you. Oh, you guys, yuck. this this may or may not affect the outcome of what's going on. He just failed a morale check because of this blow, and it immediately sinks back down into the swamp and goes underwater. Oh, I don't know if you want to do an underwater battle on this thing, <laughs> so his move will probably well, put yeah, it out he... towards the deeper end of the swamp, but he's underwater. I can't go underwater. <laughs> I can't go under the water. The hell? Um, we can wait here until it comes back up and take pop shots at it. What if it can come up for a couple of days? I hate living in the swamp, but I, yeah. Or we go back to tell the dryad that we chased it off. We did chase it off. Hey, what what does that tree look like, Sorian? Like it eats people. It's, uh, yeah, it's like the, like in the picture. <laughs> so, just letting you know, the weather does not. It's getting dark, and the weather doesn't look really good. All right. Um, however, looking down the swamp, it kind of opens up. You could see, like maybe, kind of actually. Well, I mean, it opens up to a bay from what you can see. So it opens up further down the mouth. The water goes this way. Obviously, it's it's tidal, so the water is moving out. It's like low tide, I guess you might say, or going towards low tide. So the water is moving this direction. And from what you see down towards the end of it, there is some kind of structure, probably close to a mile away, down towards the end of the surf, going that direction. Oh, we can... We should we should probably head down that way and see if it surfaces over there. It might be a resting point for us. Pitch up, king, yeah. heal up, relearn spells. Nice. That'd be great because I don't have any spells at this point. Mecha looks got across the water. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Uh, <laughs> don't do that just yet. Someone throw me a rope. Yeah. Someone got lace him. Yeah. All I have is four feet of rope. All you have to do, this is how you do. This is very simple. Roll 17 or less on a D20, and you can easily cross that water. You basically have an 85% chance of crossing the water without having the catabolus pop up in the middle of you getting across. Yeah. 85% chance. That's a great chance. You could do that. Yes, I agree, but I'm thinking of another tactic here in the fact that what if while they're trying to get to that structure, the catabolus pops back up. So well, that's, that's, in that's, what direction was the catabolus going to the water? Well, it just went or under like the water. You don't know. It could be out there. You don't know where it is. Well, but I mean, 
what direction well, did it start moving to? Well, it just slumped down into it was around this area. You don't know, it could be still sitting in this area, it could be its lair, it's just sitting there. But the, the only thing I gotta tell you is like any kind of river that yeah. opens up into a bay, it gets wider towards the mouth of the bay. So eventually you'll get to the point where it'll be a further distance you have to swim. So you have to make maybe two checks or maybe even three checks to get the other across based on the fact of your distance you have to cover. It keeps that's, getting further and further apart. Just letting that. you know. Uh, a shout across to Wilford and, and Sorian. Go ahead and move your way down. I'm going to keep my position with the bow where I'm at safe distance from him. So if he surfaces, I'll shoot to try and attract his attention, allow you guys to get to the tower. And then once you're over there, I'll try and make my way across. You guys do likewise the same if he surfaces. Hi. Hi. All right. All right. So, so is that is that the goal to go south? Yeah, we're gonna go to that tower. Okay. Is that where that well, that's not a good sign, is it? Yeah. The evil tower? No. Yeah, we don't know if it's evil, right? The Schmeppy map's not really uncovering that area, FYI. We're down here? Yeah. So Wilfred and Soren are pretty much at the bottom of the Schmeppy map of what's viewable by us. Yes. Okay. Schmeppy. 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 Oh. We, we count another hill giant? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of curious what the tree was like. If it was hollow in the middle, maybe we could turn it into a, a rest. Yeah, like some, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I got to take out all this stuff on mix side. Family of these things? Yeah, it's a family. Wouldn't that be? You guys come. This thing's just after eating its porridge, and you guys come storming in there, making a mess of things. Yeah. What? What? Why can't the dryad just move? I mean, well, you assume it's a nice creature. Look how wide it gets down here. Just letting you know, make it expand out over here. It's going to be like a double stroke to get to the other side. Just, just letting you know. But then again, you know, it's not uh, he's strong uh -huh. enough; he can throw himself across. No, I'm talking about my schmeppy, not your schmeppy. What about your schmeppy? It's, it's my schmeppy. <laughs> if I look at my schmeppy, Wilford and Sorian, like five feet below them, that's all I see. And then everything's grayed out. Yeah, it's because I'm setting up the thing here. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I see that because on your, your screen, I can see a whole lot more. But yeah, you can't you see didn't, you didn't, you didn't. You didn't put up the... um. Oh, I didn't share the tab. You guys can see everything I'm doing. Well, hell, let's take a look at it then. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. I'm starting to see it now. Huh? I'm starting to see that area now with the circle and the, All right. the big oval okay. circle and a couple All of right. small. All right. So uh, for, for what you see, you see the this poor big catabolist sitting there crying. You guys heard it. And it's got a couple of its calves right next to it. Go ahead. Slaughter it. Go ahead, guys. That's the, that's slaughter the same this one. mother and its children. Go ahead, you vicious animals. I <laughs> do it in the name of your okay. falsified deity. Hey, so I, 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 I sneak up to it and I backstab it. Can I do that? God, you, <laughs> sure, why not? Go ahead. Okay, it's not paying roll? attention. It's too okay. busy cooing to its young. Go ahead. Okay, I, I, I go up. I go up and I backstab it. <laughs> well, we'll get over there and kill it. Do your best. I, okay, I roll a 19 without my plus four, so I assume that's a hit. That's a hit. Go ahead. And I get to roll D twelve against a giant. And I roll an eleven times two. 22, 23 points of damage. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna move your character up here because you decided not to do that, which makes you just kind of lazy on the schmeppy oh. front. So you you sneak up and, and you stab this thing right right in the back. You actually separate. Part of it's a C3, C4 vertebrae, and you cut it so deep that the head just kind of goes limp, right? All the little baby calves howl in pain at seeing their mother die and swim off into the water and disappear. <laughs> what is wrong? You, you, you people okay, are so, horrible. All right, I grab no. it. 
Well, did we really fix the scenario? Uh, <laughs> do we really fix this problem, or do we? Okay, they're baby, quest solved. They're little quest what? solved. Quest solved. The monster is dead. No, That's right. The monster has quadrupled. <laughs> no, it's baby ones. We don't know how long it takes to get that big. You're probably fine. I mean, later on, I'm sure they're going to grow up and go on a plate to destroy those that killed their mother. But that'll be years from now. They'll Still probably they take over the living the towns. I, on the end of it, stinky. what? They're stinky, and I'm sure they in the water, and people don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but we're dwarves. We'll be in the mountains. All right. Well, I mean, the elves do that. <laughs> I mean, the well, worst thing that can happen. Lip, I'm going across the stream. The worst that can happen is eventually they seek their revenge and start moving out from this location, circling out further and further, eventually taking out over the areas of Fairy Ring and where the ambushed wagon was, eventually migrating past this, finding out those that did wrong, and of course, landing this all the way down. Well, who knows where? They'll probably follow the waterway, contaminate everything along the way. But then again, you know what? You served your purpose. You did your plan. <laughs> so the count. It's Miller time, guys. Miller time. It's Miller time. All right. <laughs> I'm not really happy. On its dead body laying there, a light drizzle starts to fall down upon this thing. It's sitting there. And it's, it's, it's just laying there dead, half onto the thing. Eventually, it starts releasing tons of built-up gas material, probably just sitting in methane and sulfur hydride. The whole thing reeks. It smells so bad. Yeah, you know, problem there. And then, as you see it, there's like a little drizzle coming down. And, um, hmm, yeah, it's kind of almost anticlimactic at this point. Just kind of killed like, this thing. Like, like that, Stabbing it in front of its children. Do we <laughs> You have to bring part of it back to the dryad to what show proof that we took care of it. Why would you do that? <laughs> you well, could. I no, guess you could. Okay, I, so. Well, she's 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 a dryad. She can come check this thing out. She can she can magically. Okay. Yeah, it's all the shorts. No, like she's got to look that far. She could see it right there, laying on the ground. I don't know. It's like maybe yeah. it's, okay. well, I, can, I, the task. Hey, can I put like a, a board or marks that, that said Soren was here or yes. Soren killed this? Like sure. some kind of some kind of note somehow covered in the meat in the hide. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you, could cut, rules. you could cut the tail off and make a heck of a club. But then again, I don't know. Like, oh, oh hey, how about that one? But you'd Mike? have to drag that thing. That thing's heavy. That's gonna be like how a long. I don't know. What well, that's a cool idea though for one of you guys. I probably can't pick it up. No. The I... club of a catabolus. What do you have? Club of a tail. I don't know. Uh, I'm, worry. It's, I'm good. It starts to get a little darker. You don't know where you are. You do see the structure a little further down. It's up to you guys if uh no, you want to start heading back to the yeah, what? let's just head back to the dryad and say we're done. Yes. Good idea. All right, you got to go back to the dryad. Kill the young ones. They're out in the water somewhere. You'd have to swim to find them things. And they're little. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be a little hard to find them, but whatever. We're gonna let the dryad know that she can get into a relationship with those lizard guys to go kill them. Hey, that's a good idea. That's a good compromise. See? Yes. We should at least let her know that the younglings are out there and say, look, yes. we don't right. know how to find them. You got people that swim. Good luck. They look like easy targets. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah, we well, hey, once uh uh Wilford gets up near me because I'm kind of falling behind and they're turning mm -hmm. around coming back to me. I kind of give them like a little punch on the chest and go Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. You got to swim it. You got to swim that thing. See if you get across there. Yeah. You, yeah. Oh, well, you, I guess you weren't paying attention to current events. <laughs> I, <wasn't laughs> I rolled a three. I can roll again. Oh, you did? I missed it. Yeah. Sorry. I don't, okay. Good. Yeah, I right. rolled a 15 this time, but right. I got to I just got across, right? So yeah, I, I'm still behind though because okay. I'm like it's gonna take me a while to do that. That's why I'm over. Oh, well, we'll wait for you by the shore. Yeah. You guys got to come up back up to me. Yeah, we're coming back up to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, moving at the speed of plot, right? You guys go back and you you cross the town. You miss you you, you go past the burn farmstead and you end up back where the fairy ring is. And yeah. uh, sure enough, there she is. She pops out from behind a tree, and she goes, uh, "There's my my adventurers." What news do you bring for me? Uh, we killed the we killed the cow beast, but the baby's got away. The creature is dead. Yes. Oh, 
the baby's got away. Hmm. Did you did you get the crown? You never said anything about the crown. You just said to kill the monster. We killed the monster. Oh, I, I, I know. I just thought it was like you would like. We almost it. cut the head off and brought it over. Where's <laughs> the crown at? Yeah, where's the crown um, at? What there's there was a big tree, and inside the tree, down at the base of the tree, there was like uh we had to stash our stuff. Well, one of them was a crystal that you take and you place in the water. It's supposed to purify the water, but there's a crown in there too. I, That's why I, I, I took my arm I, I, like the back end of it, smack the chest of Sorian and say, I told you to check out that tree. <laughs> she goes, she goes, I thought I thought I told you. I thought I told you that there was a tree that, that had an ancient treasure in it. We can go back to the no, tree if you want to. No, what you told us was if we killed the big whatever nasty dude that was pooping in the water, that you mm -hmm. would make sweet, delicate love with us. Oh. Mm. Uh, mm, I don't know about that. Dwarves are disgusting. <laughs> I don't remember that. I don't remember. I don't recall that conversation. <laughs> I don't recall this at all. <laughs> Do you mind if I at least ask for a heal? I'm kind of but I, I hit my knee and it hurts real bad. She she turns around. She says that, that I can't help you with. She goes into her tree, climbs all the way up, and there's like a a little window up here. You like this little window she has up here? And she yeah. she pulls. Hey, who, she, who did your work? She I know really. It looks like a ladder from Lowe's. This is awesome. She comes back down this thing, <laughs> and she she brings a little decanter. She's got this glass, and she, she takes the glass and she she pours something in it, and she hands it to this. Mangled Mechalek, right? He's, you know, obviously he's been swimming and everything else, so he's a little pungent, right? She goes, drink this. This will make you feel much better. Hey, you might you come part of a tree. Uh, Mechalek, you drink it? No offense, honey. I've had a little bad experience with this stuff in the past. You mind taking a sip or two first? She turns around and she drinks it. She says, yes, it's pure water. It's water that's been purified by the crystal. Dude, I didn't want water. I want something to heal me. Never mind. God, <laughs> you and your silly trees. Next, you're going to give me some seed. <laughs> <laughs> then she offers it to uh, um, Sorian. Yeah, I'll drink it. All right. But you're not down anything, are you? No. No. You're not down anything well, at I'll all. I'll break it anyway. But you feel refreshed. You feel revitalized. You feel pretty strong. You're like, I I, I, and I and I asked her, "Can I have a, a kiss?" For I, I told her, "I'm the one that took a it kiss? down." Oh, yeah. a brave. Are you half elf or full elf? Full elf. She goes. Oh, I could tell you have full elf allergy behind you. She you. she strokes your manly chest and she lays a kiss on your on the side of your cheek, very gently, like that. That's all she gives you. It's, it's kind uh. of it. It's kind of like that. So. Well, we're, we're both fake. So, yeah, I get it. Nice. You get it? You get it? Yeah. Thank she you. goes, remember me always. And then she turns around and she she grabs that that jug and she hands it to you. And she hands the little glass. She goes, it's for your service. And then she turns around and she she goes back and she says, um, I will. Uh, if you bring me the crown and and and. And the crystal, I, I should reward you handsomely. And she just goes into her tree, and the tree will, seals up shut. And like, do we see her climbing the ladder? Well, and she like, starts climbing the ladder, but then the tree just kind of, uh, you can't tell. It's, oh, the tree, cool. it's got the, the lounge in there anymore. You can't tell, like, you know, it's an apartment. You know, uh, it looks like a normal okay. tree. It goes camouflage, I guess you might say. Oh, okay, cool. All right. All right. Well, guys, want to go back and go hang out at the tree? I think she's barking mad, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> she's barking at you? What'd she's you say? Barking mad. Barking she's crazy. Mad. Watch, it's a trap. We'll go back there. We'll go over to the tree and they'll go, oh, the Kalapa Lapa 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 is gone. Now we can come out and attack everyone and you're our first victims. <laughs> hmm. I, yeah, I, I do have a bad feeling about it, but. Well, <laughs> But you, know. you got your, you got your elixir, and then you have a bad friend. Right. You gotta, you gotta go check out. You don't have to check nah. out the tree. You go anywhere you I want. I think we should. Just, I think we sandbox. Should. I don't care what you do. 
you know, of all the foes that we've faced so far, a tree is probably one of the most right up my alley. <laughs> hey, I want the exactly. bug banners. Where are the bug banners at? All right, we'll get the tree. Hey, why are you going to rub in my brother's death? I want to kill the bug banners. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I almost read the room wrong. My bad. <laughs> well, who would, who would lead the way to the tree? It would be the elf, our city born elf. Yeah, he knows the ways of the forest, boy. or thinks yes. he does. And, and I've okay. got my cask, and I'm carrying it like a, a stereo, you know, from the 80s. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, going at the speed of plot, right? You uh, enter the forest like you were before. You go by a bunch of dead dead eels. You, you know, you go straight past the dead what? eels. I'm glad them. we cleared that up. We don't have to fight them again. No. And you come back down to about where the tree is, right? You're like, okay, well, where's the tree, right? So you go in the tree and um you uh uh you don't see anything that indicates there's a hole in this tree. Mm. Are you sure this is the right tree? I mean, she she said it was near the catabolus, but that's hmm. And it fits, and it fits the description, right? From what you can see, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yep. Uh, I don't have an axe. Nope. Yeah, I know. I got a sword. Uh, we, we, if we uh, let's go up, back up, and see if there's like entrance ways from up top down. Yeah. So okay. I'll, I'll climb up there and see if there's a hole down the the inside of it. No, you don't see a hole, but you do see something piercing down this way. You see, uh, you first see footprints down around this back end of the tree that you were not like looking at previously. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, uh, so you and the guys kind of swing around the other side. You look in there and um, you see one branch that looks kind of bizarre. It's kind of sticking out, Ooh. but it looks like it's jammed into the hole or something. It's really weird. Like a switch. Yeah. Don't touch it. It's Leave probably it. poison. Okay. Wolfrey right. grabs it I, and goes I, in the hole. There you go. <laughs> Wolfrey grabs it? Yeah. Okay, cool. When you, you grab it and you pull it down, and sure enough, a little doorway opens at the base of the tree. Cool. All right. All right. And uh, it's totally dark in there. I guess you have to kind of like, I guess use dark vision. Everyone's got dark vision, right? Yeah. yeah. We, we all have dark vision. I put yeah, my head right. in there. So you put head in there. You see something scrawled on the outside. It says, thanks for taking care of my problem. Legero, Apple Bottom Gang. And there's nothing in there. Oh, man. So the items have been stolen? By the famous Apple Bottom Gang. <laughs> hey, is that place like how big is the place in there it's uh like three feet around it's like she's a little slender little thing so they transport through trees and it's a little weird why she just didn't go to the tree this doesn't right. make sense so but it's scrawled on the inside of this thing with chalk written into the thing the heavy wood almost like a door Legero. Or something like that. Thank you for taking care of my problem, Legero from the Apple Bottom Gang. I I get out my piece of paper to write the Apple Bottom Gang on there. All right. It's it's nice, is, nice to have a set of friends you got to look forward to. Now, I assume we list. don't know we don't know anything about the Apple Bottom Gang, right? Never heard of them. No, actually, right. no. okay. Our I thoughts. know they're on my okay. list now. Yes, they're on your list. They're taking something valuable from you, or maybe you think valuable. Who knows, right? I don't know. Could be cursed. Now the uh, but there's a very uh, obvious trail leaving the tree. Nice. Aye. Yeah, it walks down the shore in the direction of that quote unquote structure you saw further down the river. The tower. Oh, the tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, bandit hideout. Yeah, but we are still at night and still in bad weather. How big is this tree? Is it enough for us to go in and shut the door and chill out and do our stuff for the it's night? Only yeah. three feet. I don't know if you guys would fit in there unless you're all standing up. Well, I'm only asking because we got two dwarves. It won't take much for two dwarves. 
Um, and I don't know how two, they're five foot tall, but they're like beefy muscle. You're 18, aren't you? Strength 18. Yeah, I'm you guys are like Arnold Schwarzenegger sized doors. Okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Like, yeah, we look for a giant. We could do. We could go back and sleep in that mushroom veil that the dryad. You know, we could go spend the night there in that mushroom patch where we slept the night before. Yeah, I'm kind of not happy still. And the fact that we killed this thing for her to make her water all nice, and she's like, yeah, psych, not good enough. You get no reward. Thanks for risking your life. Should take her out. But she's a tree elf. I mean, she's a dryad. What, what do you expect with, with, with elves? Well, I can backstab her if you want. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like you guys are just she's one of fae. She's a fae. <laughs> fae character. That's all. Yeah, let me take a swig on that water jug you got there, buddy. All right, I hand it to uh, Mac. Mac. Try you it. can heal six hit points. And you can only do this four more times before the jug is empty. Nice. Hey. Um, um, well, if, if we find a decent place to sleep, um, we can take these bandits out in the morning. Very early morning. You guys have you guys have backpacks and bedrolls. I don't know if Mechalex would be worth anything because he was out there in the water swimming. No. So. so yeah, oh, so okay. we're wet. Yeah, you guys are wet from walking in the swamp. You go back yeah. to the keep. You're no longer ugly. Yeah, I don't like those guys though. They're so like pompous. Mm. Could be worse. Just because somebody's not pretty. Won't let you in. Like, hi, I'm a level one guard. You know, who are you? And are you good enough to come into my city? And maybe you should like check yourself before you get wrecked. And I'm like, I'm trying to buy some food. Sorry, yeah. to come to your city to buy some food. Keep it. Leave me alone. If we go back to the city, I'm attacking guards. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we can we can go join the Apple Bottom gang. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like the it. apple bottom gang. You know what? I like it. Yeah, dude, that thing is a good idea. Let's turn this around, man. <laughs> I'm tired of doing good deeds. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, well, let's show you where you're going here. Oh, I have that's a good cleric, though. Uh, if you oh, follow okay, the yeah, coastline yeah, all the way, right. Down, right? You pass the ruined tower. There's a couple places you have to transverse the water. Obviously, you all have darkness. You get the fastest again. You get this area as a star. That's the old lighthouse. It's called Peacock Point. Okay. Uh, when you come up to it from a distance, this is what it looks like. Um, where is this thing? Uh, yeah. Let's go here. Let's go here. John, John, how have you had this whole world like already mapped out, man? That's cool. Uh, I started doing it a way back. I started playing with Mike. And Mike, if you ever play a game with Mike, he never stays to the script. So all of a sudden I had to like all of a sudden start like adding to things because I don't know where he's going to go. I just know it's not where I want him to or where I think he will go. I know we're not going to the lizard folk camp. Not right now. You can. Uh, there's there's space for it. <laughs> I got that ready to go if you want to go there. But um, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, we should go to the picnic. It apparently wasn't good enough for people to stay around. Right. On Spider's Crest. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> wow. Here you go. End up at this place called Peacock Point Lighthouse. Perfect. Nice. It's got a couple of little areas. It's got a nice little thing. You can see it's down by the, the shore area. If you guys remember where the little, little star was. Okay. Uh, strange, when you get there, you kind of go up a flight of you know stairs. It kind of comes out to the dock. Um, you don't hear anybody or see anything. The, the lighthouse isn't even lit, and it's night. So it's really strange. Right, I mean, that ain't right. We must nope. light the lighthouse. Wow. Yeah, you can. So, uh, as you guys enter, let's see. Let's go through this little thing right here. This is a uh, one of the storehouse rooms out here to the back, right? This this room right here, but we're not there. You guys, right? You guys come into the lighthouse, right? And you can easily kind of go up the stairs. You can see, um, from what you see, it's like everything is like pretty much intact, right? Um, 
you kind of go up the stairs, go up the stairs. You said you're okay, late. So it doesn't look it doesn't it doesn't look abandoned, is what you're saying. No, it doesn't look abandoned. As you go up to the top, obviously you get to the top, you can you can light the lighthouse, right? To get it going. If that's a, is that what you guys want to do? I guess I don't know. Yeah, let's light this thing. All right. So there's like this thing you can light it, and there's these giant, it's like prismatic crystals that you kind of put around the outside that magnify the light and send it outward, right? You can see how this thing works, okay? So you light it up, and it's sending a beacon of light around like that. You hear a buzzing sound, a faint buzzing sound, like flies, mosquitoes, weird things like that. But then it seems to kind of go away. It doesn't seem like anything. I think something doesn't like the light. Um, Moth, that's all. Moths. Yeah. Just a moth or some yeah. flying cow. Or, will kill or it. something. Yeah, you guys are at the very top of this lighthouse. I don't know what you guys would like to do. Are those beds on that one to the right? Let's go get some sleep, dudes. Yeah, there's yeah. there's beds all down well, here. Somebody watch somebody. It looks like there's a door into there. We'll, we'll I'll do, take the, I'll take the first watch. Me. Let's get some rest, man. We've been going a long day, man. We're doing a lot of hiking. Yeah. Okay. So you, you guys come all the way downstairs. Okay. And um Obviously, you uh, so the door can be shuttered. This door can be closed, okay? Just kind of let you know. I'm gonna, there's actually locks on the thing. Just I'm gonna, you know. I'm gonna close the door, I'm gonna lock it, then I'm gonna spike it from the inside. So, you're just gonna spike it. It's not like really a lock on it. I think it's meant to be stayed open for anybody, any travelers that happen to come by that need some place to rest. You're gonna spike it from the inside, right? In the inside, so somebody can't open the door. Okay, the door all right. opens in. All right, so you're spiking things. You hear like a buzzing sound once again, but it sounds like faint, way off in the distance. You don't think much of it, right? Um, so uh, as you go through, it has a whole bunch of provisions and stuff, but when you start looking at them, it's all picked clean. It's like there's no food there at all. There's no water there at all. Like everything is like it's so. It's been gone. living. Yeah. But it's weird. It's like it's just been like like there's bags of like cornmeal or whatever it was. I mean, it's like the bags have been torn into and every little bit has been eaten, gone. Everything. Just wow. Vanquished, right? There's no obviously hanging meat, no nothing like that. Even the water, it's like completely dry. Fresh water that would have in a barrel, all gone. Everything. Mm. Gone. Yeah. With that, I'm going to go back upstairs and say, suck to be you, but I'm going to turn out the lights. <laughs> It's like the you folks. <laughs> you woke up, right? All right. So you go back upstairs, obviously. And uh <laughs> this is just a, so you head all the way back up to the lighthouse, right? So you go ahead and, and um as you look out upon the water, right? Which stretches for an expanse all the way out there. And uh I'll put up my swamp picture because it looks so cool, right? Right. You see um way out in the distance, um like a swarm of insects. It's kind of like buzzing about like a giant swarm moving towards you at the lighthouse. Locus. Giant locus. Yeah, they're they're ways away though, but you can tell that this, it looks an unfriendly terrible. group of bugs. Yeah. Turn the light out, guys. Yeah. I okay. So you when you uh are right, you turn the light out? Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, the way this thing is, obviously, you these two doors can be closed. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you can see the uh, the uh, floor plan here, right? You kind of come mm -hmm. into this area. This is exposed, this area right here. And it kind of climbs all the way up. This area is open except for that door, right? And I guess I'm showing you the whole floor plan. There's actually somewhat of a wall here with stuff over on this side. But it's got a door that you can get through. This is a door that goes through here, right? Um, but everything has been kind of like wrecked. All yeah. of it. Yeah. Like there's nothing. And obviously down here, it seems the most um, normal looking, but at the same time, it looks pretty, pretty wrecked. I mean, in a sense that everything that's edible is gone. Are there any bamboo or pipes or anything? Any what? Bamboo or pipes or anything? Hmm. Guys, I don't think we should be above ground when this thing gets here. If it gets here, I don't know. Did we turn off the light quick enough? Yeah, the light's out. Yeah, but this is just the lighthouse. All right. 
there's this other place down here. That's this is the floor plan to the other room. I'm gonna go back up to the top just to take a look out and see if I could with the dark vision. I don't, it doesn't go that that far, but do I see anything regarding locusts or whatever? Well, when you see it, obviously it's it's dimming down because of light, and there's obviously a, um, a little bit of starlight and the moon, everything out there. You can actually hear from a distance. It sounds like a roaring wind that's coming to you, but you could tell it's not wind. It's roaring sound it, of buzzing. It, does it sound like it's a, a, are still approaching now that the light's yeah. out, or does it? Uh, it still sounds like uh, it sounds. It goes back and forth. It's very hard to generally find out the direction of that cloud of insect swarm or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm gonna go back down to the guys and say I, I can't tell if they're coming up. Well, apparently it, every bag has been picked clean. I don't think shutting doors is gonna do the trick. Oh well, but maybe they, they came in through the door. Are are there windows open? Yeah. No, it's a uh, solid all the way up and down. Okay. Yeah. Well, then for the very top. Hmm. Okay. Well, then. Right. I'd rather be inside than outside. Yes. <laughs> Great. I mean. I don't know what else to do until it gets here. I'm going to lay down and go to sleep. Yep, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so which, where are you guys going to be? There's the question. Oh, that's, that's it. Explain yeah, that one on standing. the right. Huh? The one on the right. It looks like there's that's one the, doorway. Yeah, that's the upper part, this? right? I don't need yeah. some tools and donate. The one on the one on the right, which would be this one, right? I'm trying to move this thing. It's not letting me move. There we go. Yeah, um, yeah. The so small. If I, it if looks I put like this one door. Yeah. One. One. That's it. That has one door towards it. Except this does have a window. Well, um, that, that, that's what that cut is. Poo poo in that one. All right. Here's two. Is this one? Of course, that leads to the stairs. This would be three, right? Except you haven't really been in that room. I'll make this guy four. Well, well we're gonna try to go go on to room three. Why uh -huh. is why is room three different than the others? Watch this. Uh, and is it partitioned is it off or something? Or it Dead looks body. partitioned off. Yeah, it's got like a. It's kind of like a weird hinge door or something like that. You haven't been in there, so I don't know. You say you just kind of came up, and I assume you kind of looked. You said I all I hear is you went up to the light and you came back down, and they were down here. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to investigate were, but... room number three. Yeah. All right. When you look at it, you see a chest that's filled with a bunch of linens. It looks like flags and stuff to be hanging from the lighthouse, like long, like flags and stuff. Um, these two chests in it look like um. Just stuff for um, different oil for lighting the tower and stuff like this. Wicks and extra uh, crystal, let's say, I guess it would be like a shield or something that you actually put in front of the light to magnify it. So these are like supplies like, for the light tower itself. And do it look like any bugs have been in here? Not not really, no. There's, there's also, there's no food in there. Let's move the uh, chest, the small chest with the wicks and the oil and stuff like that, out into the two area. Okay. Let's take out okay. the flags and stuff like that from the three chest. We'll move the chest out, but keep the flags for our bedding for tonight since it's dry and we're all soaking wet. Nice. Hey. Okay. So when you move everything out, you can hear now and then some buzzing that sounds like louder. It's outside the tower. And stuff like that and then all of a sudden you see something very very strange something that seems to be moving up the stairs and then it kind of stops it hops and it hops and then it stops and it makes a weird squeaking sound like ah ah as it's on the stairs but you can't tell because it's down towards the bottom of the spiral i mean you have to come out and take a look okay well i go out and take a look 
Yeah, Wolfred. <laughs> <laughs> you you see a you see a peacock. A peacock. A peacock. Leave it alone, guys. Let's finish clearing out three and get some rest. All right. All right. So as, as you're watching this thing, like this thing's, ah, ah, it, it tries to advance up the stairs. Of course, then it sees you. It backs down. And then when it gets down towards the bottom of the stairs, Wilford, who's watching this? I am. It's Wilford? Yeah. All right. All of a sudden, a swarm, it, you can't tell what it is, locusts, what it is, just totally engulf this bird and start, like, attacking it. It's chewing its feathers off. It's attacking. The thing's squawking like mad. It's hideous sounds going on, and you start seeing the swarm moving up the staircase towards you. I don't think that's a light buzzing anymore, guys. Let's get in that room three. <laughs> we get the room. Yeah. And shut the door. <laughs> that, yeah. Oh, you're a light buzzing. Light anymore. buzzing that goes on and off in the distance. Yeah, I think it's time to go, guys. Yeah. Get in three, shut it down. Okay, so you guys get yourself into room three. This chest isn't here. There's obviously room for everybody in here, right? There is a small crack that's underneath this door, right? Maybe flags. What? Flags. Flags. Shove them down the crevice. All they right. So you're shoving holes. shoving the flags down the crevice. I see you you start hearing the things all over the door, all over everything, making tons and tons of noise, right? And then eventually it's creepy, it man. Seems to stop. Silence. Good. We can get some rest. <laughs> how much uh, how much do we get right, good night, guys. <laughs> and this is where we're gonna end our adventure for the day <laughs> just, guys, okay. take our night trust. I, I, you guys everybody gets back two hit points because uh that's how generous i am tonight um here wait for a second uh is everybody still level three yeah, yeah. all right Let's let everybody go up one level. Let's go to four. Yay! Yay! So you, can, Wait you, can, you can die, especially well the next time. Let's it's, go to four on this, kids. It's Fix not good when, when John's leveling us up at the end of the night. Yeah. That means that whatever's coming. <laughs> hey, just, just level yourself slightly up, just a little. Just, just a little, just letting you know. This will be funny. Uh, yeah. So can I, before I go to bed, can I make a prayer to Morden? To see yeah, if he can suck up these locusts. Sure. Natural got, twenty. I'm. Well, I got match my roll. Oh. <laughs> Mike, I'm sorry. I rolled a nineteen. Damn. I swear. I but I tell you what. I tell you I what. I'm not saying. Point. I'm not saying it happened or didn't happen. But I'm telling you. Uh, you have to open the. You'll have to open the door to find out. You got to look. Oh, I was gonna show Ooh. you my twenty. I you don't have to show it to me. I believe you. Why would you lie to me? But do you want to? Do you want to open the door and take a look? No, I'm just saying my prayer to Morden. Then okay. I'm going to bed. So you said this <laughs> prayer. You hear this whirling sound. It gets louder and louder, right? And scene. My faith is restored. And that is where we're ending nice. for the night. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh. I thought we were going to kill the sea cow. Oh, we did. That's right. You backstabbed it. All right. Well, you got I that. Did. It's a sea cow. It's <laughs> Somebody else took it out. Right. So what is your – you guys got to roll for a hit point. So uh, who's rolling first? So How I many guess, hit points do we get? Well, it depends on what you're – you're a fighter, right? Yeah, you gotta roll. You gotta roll one d eight. See what you get. Yeah, roll a d eight. Four, four. Add four to what you had. What'd you have before? Thirty. That's why I'm kind of confused. What was your constitution? Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my constitution seventeen. So what do you get with that? Plus what? Plus a lot. Uh, plus a lot. I think. Yeah. Should be plus three or something. Isn't it? You get a plus two. So you rolled a you six. Two. You got 36 hit points. Okay. What's your thing currently at now? Uh, I'm at uh, six. Uh, so I get plus six. So that puts me at 25 hit points. 
Okay. Cool. 25, 30, 25 of 36. Wilford, you got the roll, right? But you're a cleric, right? Yeah, I rolled a five and I have a constitution of 15. So I, I add six to 21. So that's 27, but I'm down seven. Okay. So hmm. um, unless we get two, we get two back tonight. Yeah. Then I'm down five. <laughs> 20, my, you got who? My, You're 22. My total, You're, my total is 27, but I currently have 22. Did you put your two back in, mate, Mick? Mechalik? Yeah, I already got my two back in. Okay. My 25 Sor is counting the two hit points for rest tonight. Sorian, you're at what? I'm at 12 currently. Did you hey, roll? does that make a change on our to hit? Uh, for you, it will, because you're next level. So what is your what is your so current what's your, what's your bonus to hit though? Uh melee plus three. Okay, so you get a plus three hit, but it moves you into another thing on the grid. So yeah, essentially right. to hit armor class zero is 17 now. 17, but you have plus three to hit, right? Yeah. So you, so need a, you need to roll a 14 to hit zero. Okay, so everything drops one. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. In fact, I'm using Thacko because I got to use this for school. I teach these kids how to do math. So your Thacko, which is pretty awesome, yours is 14. Well, that's yeah. that's for no, 17. He lay for 14 and 17 for range. Yeah. Oh, you got? Don't you have a dexterity plus one or no? No. Uh, I got dexterity 11. Okay, so it's just okay. That's fine. How about you, Wilfer? What's your Thacko? But you're, you're well, fourth level. Yeah, player, right? so, but I have an 18 strength, so my Thacko is, uh, with melee is 16, and missile is 18, but that was level three. I'm looking at for level four to see what it changes. Nothing. It's still 18, so it's 16 for you. Yeah. So, yeah. Thacko, melee is 16, and missile is 18. This was 18. That sucks. That's okay. Yeah, I have, a, I have a 10 dex. That's cool. How about you, Sorian? Uh, roll my level. points. No, yeah. No, you're, you're fourth level. You'll be the same as Mike. So you have 18 to hit zero. But what's your dex? Uh, well, actually, your strength is what? A seven. <laughs> okay. What is your. um? But I, but I have a your... plus one with swords and bows. And okay. I have a plus one sword, so I have a plus two there. So I have a, right, I have a, a 16 right now to hit uh, Thaka with melee and 14 with missile. Well, wait a minute. No, it's but you have a plus one with your sword, right? Correct. So that gives you yeah. a seven. <clears throat> yeah, but I have a plus one sword, so I have a plus ah. two. Okay. Okay. So, so I have a 16 Thaka okay. and currently. You, and your bow, you get a plus one? Yeah, just yeah, what's, with swords and bows. But what's your dexterity? A 17. So you get a plus one to hit, plus your bow. So that's 16 for that too, as well. Correct. Yeah. All right. You're good. Everybody's good. This is good. What's your hit points total right now? 12. That's after rolling? I haven't rolled anything. Oh, roll that. That's what I said. Aren't you supposed to? You're the fourth level. Roll 1d4. I rolled a four. Oh, my God. 12. We'll get 16. Dude, He's tender. I never roll oh, fours on a D four. I didn't even know. I didn't even know the dice went up that high. Only <laughs> <laughs> ones and twos. All right. Yes, yeah, so you guys are going to lick wounds, heal, heal up, right? So everybody's going to be ready to go for the next time we play. And uh, I was. I'm going to stop recording. Right about. Wait. What? Don't stop. I poke Wilford in the chest again. Dude, that thing almost smashed you with his tail. You got so lucky. I, <laughs> you were almost like a fence post going in the ground. I saw it from so far away. I couldn't do anything. You are so lucky. Morgan okay. blessed me. I. <laughs> You're lucky, man. You're like the luckiest guy I know, man. Here. All right. So uh, let me freeze this thing. We're going to put this to end. We got to talk. Boom. Stop.